listen, part part of the uh, you know the health field and everything is supplements. I know you guys have body health that you started. You have wonderful products. I I didn't know this going into this interview even that you were behind body health and we have your perfect aminos here. I love them. We give them the patient. So it was a, it was a nice surprise because I was just telling someone about, oh, you should take perfect aminos. We have them here and give them out. Tell, tell yeah. us, how, how'd you get into that and choosing that? Because we also started producing supplements on our side. It was it was an effort to see where do we start with low-hanging fruit, how to do it in high-quality format. We test your products. They're through the roof quality-wise, and that's a rarity, I have to say. In a very congested supplement market, usually what you're told is get the cost down. Go low quality, market a lot. You'll make a lot of money. You need, you know, margins on this. But tell us uh, about your kind of uh, journey into making these supplements with body health. Well, it started really. So someone is mercury toxic. What do they need? And then when I'm at Klinghart's thing, he's got 14 things they have to take. Yeah. And I'm like, nobody's going to take 14 things. Can I consolidate this in some way? Can I come up with, and then we were doing IV chelation with DMPS and every other person that we would give IV DMPS to would walk out of the IV room holding their back, like their kidneys were hurting them mm. because the drug was toxic to them. And so I, I met this uh, biochemist and we started horsing around with some substances to see, could we come up with a natural way to detoxify metals? And we came up with this product, which we named metal free. Now, Metal free is off the market because the FDA then 25 years later, really hundreds or maybe millions of doses, safe doses where you could detoxify heavy metals. Uh, NAC was in there and they didn't like it. So we have a new one that's just about to be released, but that's how we got into it. And we started using it and it worked great. It would detoxify people and it didn't hurt their kidneys. And you could even give it to small children because a lot of the autistic children have metals and it was a way to detoxify mm -hmm. Um, that was very safe. So we got into that. And then a couple of years later, and then I was working in our practice and then, you know, I'd go to a meeting and share it with some people and they started using it and it's like, wow, this is a great product. So then we were, we're sort of mixing it up in our back room and then we got, you know, more professional where we were really doing it. And then I was training for a triathlon and I pulled my hamstring and I could not get it to heal. You know, if I would try a hard workout, a hard track workout, it would start to hurt. And I knew that if I kept going, I was going to tear it worse. And I did everything. Like I have access to everything. So I heated it and I colded it and I chiropractored it and I massaged it and I injected it and I did this and I did that. And it just didn't get better. And then I did an amino acid profile on my blood and I found that I was lacking essential amino acids. And I started playing with amino acids and different mixtures of the essential amino acids. And, um, and the combination uh, that, that I got some help with this, but the combination of these eight essential amino acids in a very specific ratio, I took that for six weeks and my hamstring pain went away. And three months later, I went and did Ironman Canada, which is a a very challenging race. Um, and I had my best time ever. And so I wrote an article in triathlete magazine on my experience. And we got 3000 calls from people who wanted this product. And so we started to manufacture this product and, you know, the, we, so we had to source pharmaceutical grade amino acids. The product has no fillers or binders or excipients or anything else in it. It's pure amino acid powder that originally was tablets. Now we have, we have powder forms of it. And it's, and it's, um, and it just, it just, people started taking it and they would call us and say, my chronic plantar fasciitis is gone and my hair's growing better and my nails aren't breaking off and like stories and stories and stories um, about how good the product was. And so, um, it's a great product and it, you know, virtually everyone. So I don't know if you guys do this, but we do this, uh, meta, meta it, it's Genova. It's called an ion panel. It's a panel where you look at vitamin and mineral deficiencies and amino acids are on there and all vegans, all vegetarians are amino acid deficient. And a lot of people who think they're eating okay, have enough going on in their gut 
with not enough enzymes, not enough HCL, too much yeast overgrowth, too many parasites, too much glyphosate, where they're not digesting the proteins. And their amino acid levels are low. And amino acids, of course, are the key to the whole body. They're all the structure. They're all the enzymes. They're all the immune factors. They're all the neurotransmitters. Um, and if you supplement them with amino acids, which are in an elemental form, they don't have to be digested. If you take it on an empty stomach with a water or a sports drink in 23 minutes, it's in your bloodstream. It doesn't trigger insulin. It doesn't trigger blood sugar. And you can really help people. Uh, and we find that probably 90% of the patients that I test are amino acid deficient. And I put them all on amino acids. And then they get, you know, among other things, it's not the only thing. They might need omega-3s and they might need vitamins and other things. So it's a, it's not a one thing fixes everything. But this particular product is really good. And it, it, you know, and what's most interesting too is that most of this market of protein supplementation is really not of, it isn't valid. Like whey protein is not a very good way to supplement with protein because only 16% of it is actually used by your body to make protein. And collagen is missing tryptophan, which is an essential amino acid, which is part of all the, you know, all the proteins need tryptophan. So a lot of the marketing that's gone into these things really isn't valid. And, um, and with Perfect Amino, the product actually is what it is. And it's, there's some very elegant studies that have been done on it that actually prove when you take this stuff, 99% of what you take in goes to building your own body protein. And that's why it works so well. Yeah, that, that bioavailability is so key. So many supplements out there and the things people take and self-supplement, they just aren't really bioavailable. And it's kind of a waste. And then you got to look at quality too. So many right. people go for cheaper things, but that's poor quality. It's just also not going to be absorbed by the body and could actually be toxic in some ways. Right. Uh, and the supplementation kind of industry itself is a little bit of a wild west and it's hard to understand what's what. I also right. find it quite wild because we've seen it a lot at the center as well that people who think they eat well are deficient in so many things, whether it's amino acids, whether it's minerals, you know, most people are, and that's, yeah. that's a big source. I mean, the, the food source in general is just so depleted. Even when you think you're eating well, you're probably not. And even when you are eating vegetables, the soil is depleted, you know, everything else is how it carries over the weeks. It gets to the grocery store where you think it's fresh and suddenly it, it doesn't have that. 